One important question, given all your experiences, <laughs> is um, what, what can other people learn from you? But in particular, do you have any tips or advice for other patients? Think about somebody new coming to this cancer journey. Maybe it's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, maybe it's a, a different hematological cancer. Um, they're going to be scared. They're not going to know what comes next. I'm not asking for medical advice here, but just in general, how could you help them see their way through this difficult journey? The, the two things that I always say to people, because um, I've, I've done a little bit of kind of buddying over the years. Um, so the two things I always say to people are to be kind to yourself, um, because it's going to be tough and it's going to be tough on all the people around you. So to actually cut yourself a bit of slack. Um, and if you feel angry or lousy or happy, um, then it's okay just to feel that. Um, and not beat yourself up about it. Um, the other thing I think is, the other thing that I always say is to pace yourself um, because none of us know, you know, what, what, what cancer, you know, none of us know what the cancer treatment is going to be like. Um, and I think that, you know, we're all now, we all now expect a quick fix um, in whether or not we're, we're sick. We want a quick fix. We want to be. We want something to happen immediately, and that you can't have that kind of approach um, when you're unwell. Um, you need to give yourself time to deal with the illness, to deal with the treatment, to deal with the aftermath of treatment. Um, and you also, I think it's the thing that I think is often forgotten about with cancer is that once you finish treatment. Uh, that's that's often the most difficult phase because that's the the bit where you start convalescing and we don't think about convalescing anymore um, and convalescing is about actually taking the time to rebuild your energies and rebuild your strength um, so I think it's important to to pace yourself and not to rush or or want something to be done quickly or at speed because sometimes things have to take a little bit longer and you know we all need the energy to actually get through it so if you use all your energy up right at the beginning trying to do something really fast or get something done really fast you're not going to have the strength you know in a few months time when you may need it more